What's up, dog? Hello. How you doing? Good, hey, man. How about you, bro? Honestly, you probably have to slouch a little bit, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, fuck. Yeah. What's going on, Fader Culture? My name is Adrian Barone, and we're back with yet another tutorial. Today, we got my boy Julian here on the chair, and we're gonna be running down the steps on how to do a number three on the sides with a taper, and then we're gonna go ahead and trim up the top and give him a faux hawk style look. I hope y'all enjoy, and let's jump right into this tutorial. Again, guys, thank y'all so much for tuning in to another tutorial. All the steps and products that we'll be using in the video will be in the description down below. We're gonna go ahead and start with, like I said, a number three on the side. And as you can see, I'm using my comb to help push down that hair. That way we don't have to take the guideline any higher. And as you can see here, I'm slightly scooping out just to keep those guidelines as soft as possible. And continuing the process, we're gonna keep that number three on and just open up the lever and take it up about a finger's width. And if you've seen any of our tutorials, you know we don't use anything higher than a number four on the sides, no matter how long the top is. From here, we're just gonna go ahead and clipper over comb. And you always wanna recomb the hair to reset it to its neutral position. And if you're fairly new to clipper over comb, guys, a tip that I do have is go ahead and slap on the number one guard onto your clipper and use that as a safety net just to make sure that you don't cut off more than you need to. And now that the sides is all trimmed up with the number three, we're gonna go ahead and start the top. Creating our profile section about two fingers width. And we're gonna use this profile section to choose not only our desired length, but also the shape of the top. And as you can see, I'm gonna slightly slope it as we get towards the front. And always picking up a previous section from what we have cut alongside with the new section as our guide. And now making horizontal sections, we're gonna pick up some of that profile section and we're gonna go ahead and use that as our guide. So go up about a finger's width every section horizontally and just work your way all the way to the front guys, trying to make shear work as simple as possible. And for those who have been asking, our Faded Culture shears will be in stock very soon, hopefully within the next week or two. Feel free to check out any of our other products at FadedCulture.com. Thank y'all so much, guys. And just go ahead and repeat those horizontal sections on the right side now. Again, just grabbing a piece of that profile alongside with a new one. And finishing off with the edges, notice how I'm angling my hand. This is just to ensure that we give them that faux hawk style look. Go ahead and take that all around. And from here, we're gonna dry it using medium heat and high airflow just to start bringing out that shape. And you always wanna lock it in with a cool shot, really closing up that cuticle. And now to begin the fade process, we're gonna use no guard lever completely closed. And I want you to just take note how many times I go over just this one guideline. I go ahead and brush it and go over it about two to three times just to make sure it's as straight and as clean as possible. And from this guideline, notice how I ran my finger. This is where we're gonna start the back guideline for the taper. And second, go ahead and open up that lever and take the next guideline up about a finger's width. Again, just go over it as much as possible. Make sure it is very clean and just go ahead and take your time with it all. Continuing the process, we're gonna slap on that number one guard you're going to notice we are going to go in numerical order. Again, all the steps to this tutorial are in the description down below as well. Next guard, we're going to use a number one and a half. I know people have made comments, what if you don't have the one and a half or the half guard? Guys, I always suggest that you go ahead and get them for the price. They're very cheap and they're going to be very convenient, especially if you're serious about cutting hair. 
And since we did a number three on the sides, the number two that we're using here is gonna be the last guard. By now you should have two guidelines, the first one created with the lever closed, second with the lever open, and as you can see, this is just his occipital bone. We're gonna start with that second guideline. Using our half guard, we're gonna go ahead and close the lever just slightly, putting it into that 3 fourths position, and go ahead and start to blend that out. You are gonna notice it is creating a faint line above it, but just continue with this guard and do not take this step any higher. You should have those same two guidelines on the right side. So like I mentioned, it did create a faint line right above it. So we're gonna come in using the corners of our clipper with that number one guard, leaving the lever in that 3 fourths position. And finally, for the final guideline, we did set it in with the lever closed. We're gonna come back in with the lever closed. It's gonna take a three step process, taking each step up about a quarter inch or so. As you can see, I started with the lever closed halfway and now it's fully open. And notice how I'm focusing just on the left side of the taper. This is just because this last line is very tedious and you want to give it as much attention to detail as possible. Repeating that same three step process now. Now go ahead and just finish off the taper on the right side. And guys, if you have any questions at all, feel free to always reach me on Instagram. It is linked down below. It's just Adrian Baron double underscore. We're always here to help guys and we're always open to new suggestions. So whatever y'all want to see on this channel, either you can hit us up on Instagram or just let us know simply down in the comments below. Now that we're all done, we're going to go ahead and come in with our trimmer in a forward position just to get closer to the scalp. It does leave a faint line, so turn that trimmer around and remove it. And by using our trimmer in that forward position, we created this faint line. That's just going to be the guideline for the electric shaver. Again, just use that faint line as a guideline for your electric shaver. As you approach that faint line, just try to use your electric shaver as if it was a pair of clippers and just be soft when you do approach it. And we're pretty much done with the fade. Now for the trim and lining work. As for the beard to connect it, I'm gonna come in with the one guard lever open and then go ahead and close it. It's basically my same fading process. Now we're just gonna go ahead and reverse it, starting with the lever open, halfway, and then close. And my edge up, always start from the middle and then work your way to one side, and then recalibrate from the middle and work your way to the opposite side. You're gonna see that I do the exact same thing with the neckline. And always go out of your way and ask your client if they want to do anything with their eyebrows and go ahead and remove any excess nose hair or ear hair that they might have guys that they're always going to appreciate that so like i mentioned always starting from the middle work your way to one side and then recalibrate from the middle and work your way to the opposite side and personally i use the electric shaver on the neck what do y'all like to use guys let me know down in the comments below i know my brother for instance he always uses a straight razor. It's just preference at this point. And here just removing any frizz just to make the beard up a lot cleaner. And using my faded culture razor, 
we're gonna go ahead and snap that in into our Turkish style razor which you can find all of our products again at betaculture.com putting a little bit of our clear shave gel on them and always start by shaving with the grain and then follow that by shaving against the grain And always use your straight razor around the ear guys, it just makes the lineup that much cleaner. And make sure that you do remove all that hair with your comb and brush and go ahead and re-attack the beard. We're pretty much done. Now we're gonna go ahead and wet the hair so we can work in our faded culture clay into the hair and we're not just slapping it on the hair. So coming in with our blow dryer, like I said, it's very important that you mold the product into the hair. So we're using medium heat and high airflow to bring up this style. Really opening up that cuticle, take your time. We're trying to stretch out as much volume as possible and then close it in with the cool shot adding a little bit of hair enhancements and we're pretty much done guys here is the final result man thank y'all so much for tuning in to another tutorial as always let us know down in the comments below which i would like to see on this channel feel free to drop your opinion give this video a thumbs up whatever you want just go ahead and interact with us guys we're here for it as always guys my name is adrian barone and i'll catch you on the next one peace